This week on the White Chalk Design Live, I had the pleasure of chatting with Mark Browning, a landscape designer. We talked about the Chelsea Flower Show. What are the tips and tricks and trends that we are adapting for our outside areas? Landscaping. And now why it is more important than ever to create an oasis in our backyard. Enjoy. Hi, Serena. How are you? I'm really well, Mark. How are you? Is this oh. the year? It's been an interesting year, which I think we could just quickly just write off at this point in time, don't you? I mean, yeah, I think, uh, um, let's let's not. I wanted to it. ask you, what are the what are the three key elements in good design? Number one is working with the site. Yeah. Okay. There's no point trying to trying trying to create a flat site on a cliff. It's all about sustainability. Yeah. And it's all about your client's needs. Well, most people most most people think a six meter high tree is a big tree. Yeah, right. Some of those people go for a drive through the Black Spur and you'll see some big trees. So, so what happens when someone says that they want that noosa look? They want to have palm trees. They want, you know, big ferns and everything like that. How do you steer them back into something that's going to be sustainable and functioning in the Victorian and Melbourne weather? There are sustainable plantings that work here. Bird of Paradise works here. Liverstone palms are fantastic. I think it's it's always really nice to create that definition in your garden right from the start. So if you're going to start scaling down your plant sizes, do it on all your plants. What, so one of my favourite pavers is a bluestone paver, okay? I think it tends to just kind of work across the board in a contemporary backyard, around a pool. Me it's too. seamless. Do you mix up your sizes in your paver patterns? I'm doing a lot with Ashler at the moment, which is um, a modular pattern. So mm. it could be a 200 by 200 with a 400 by 200 with a 400 by 400, etc. You know, yeah. four or five different sizes that sort of create a, a modular pattern. Okay, we've got um, another question here from KB Westaway. I'm about to sell and need to plant out the backyard. Lots of green, north facing. What do you suggest? It, and if it's about screening, you'd probably go, you could go a magnolia variety or you could go a lily pilly or a bay tree once again. I think that having an alfresco, an indoor outdoor kitchen is worth the spend. I don't. Right, okay, and why? <laughs> Because outdoor appliances are, are expensive and I, I, and I think of the money that you could actually invest in in plants and other landscape features in lieu of okay. that. For the people that are in apartments or multi-dwelling living, what would you suggest that they do to kind of give themselves some calm and bring nature into the home? I think the use of uh, natural timber always has a calming effect. What is the What are the pros and cons of a black pool? Um, oh, that's, or, a real, that's a really hard one. Um, it comes down to mood, it comes down to your client's <laughs> needs. It's like looking at the Franklin River in Tasmania. It's black, but... Coca-Cola. Yeah, well, that's it. It's like jumping into a can of um, I think green's probably the new orange when it comes well, to pool. Oh, and that's, right. the, that, that's the next big tip is kidney shape is way back. D dictates a modern garden versus a cottage-style garden. How do you get that look? Well, a cottage garden's always going to be more um, more plant based, and mm -hmm. a modern garden's probably going to be more hard landscape based. What what timber do you put on your decks? What's your what's your favourite timber? Uh, my favourite timber is a product from Chile, which is supposedly sustainably grown. Yep. It does have a uh, commercial forestry rating. Um, it's a product called Kumaru, which is. Where would you go if you could get on a plane today? Where are you going and what garden are you going to see? I'd go back to Palm Springs and I'd go to Sunnydale. Sunnydale, was it, what was it called? Sunny... That sounds like a mental hospital. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it looked like it as well. Sunny something. And, and it's just a massive big cactus garden, as you'd expect in the wow. middle. Wow, yeah. I, but I love that, that design. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. So thank you so much. That was so informative. Everyone has yeah, thanks, great Serena. questions. Yeah, okay. have a great Bye, night. Serena. Thanks.